Hi and welcome to my latest LEGO Technic creation, the 1023 speed car. And this car came about from a video I did a while ago on a 1000 speed gearbox and since then I've had a lot of my subscribers ask me to build it into a car. And of course one of the benefits of being a subscriber to my channel is that you can put in your own custom requests which I'll try to build for you. So uh, yeah, now is probably a good time to subscribe if you'd like that benefit and put in your own requests. Okay, so I'll just tell you a bit about the car. So obviously in the middle here we have got the battery box. The battery box connects to the remote controller and the remote controller controls the rear engine which drives the rear wheels. It's a uh, large size motor underneath as well as the front steering which is driven by a medium sized motor which drives the gears that uh, turn the wheels. So I'll just show you the turning mechanism in action. So we can turn left and right like that. Uh, then the main part of the gearbox is in the middle, so we've got 10 different switches uh, which allows us to switch between each of those between two different positions and that gives us 2 to the power of 10 different combinations or 1024 speeds. Uh, one of those is uh, the zero speed, so it actually leaves 1023 possible forward speeds. Uh, the magic happens underneath, so each of those switches connects to a differential um, which is underneath we've got 10 different differentials each of those is connected to one of the switches and that allows that differential to contribute towards the overall gearing mechanism that's driven by that large motor over here so the large motor drives all the gears and that the final gearing comes out the bottom here that through the chain drives the rear wheel axis which goes through the differential to drive the rear wheels so I'll just explain a bit more detail about the actual uh, the relationship between the switches and the overall gearing ratio of the gearbox. So as you can see we've got the 10 different switches. They've got the labels 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256 and 512. And of course you recognize these as uh, powers of 2. So they're the binary numbers 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, etc. All the way to 2 to the power of 9. And what we can do, we can switch each of these and each of these will contribute to the overall output out of 1024 given by each of these numbers. But as soon as I select for example 512, then the gearing ratio will be 512 out of 1024, which is a half. Uh, I can then for example add another one, 256, then the overall gearing becomes 256 plus 512, which is 768 out of 1024, so that's three quarters. And that way I can actually select any number out of 1024 by selecting different switches on and off like this, which gives us that those 10 to, uh, 2 to the power of 10 combinations, which is 1024 different combinations to the output. I'll now just demonstrate the relationship between the motor and the gearbox. So let's turn the motor on. At the moment we've got the gearbox uh, set to zero, so uh, we've got no output. So we can add, for example, 256, and at that point we're getting a 1 to 4 ratio, 256 out of 1024 between the motor and the output. Uh, we can add, for example, 128, makes it go faster. Take that 256 off, make it slower again. Um, we could, for example, put in 16, which is a slow speed, nice and slow. Add 512 and it goes much faster. So that way, like I said, we can create one of a thousand, three, four different speeds inside of the gearbox. I'll just show you from the other side. So I've made this we stand to put it onto. Um, we can see the different differentials turning as I switch different uh, switches on and off. Like that, all contributing towards the output. So when they're spinning, uh, adding on to the output and when they're not, they're not. Of course the big question on everyone's minds is will this car actually drive? And uh, well, I'll show you. Um, surprisingly, yes it does. A lot of people thought that a thousand gears in a car would create so much friction that you wouldn't really be able to drive the car at all. Uh, but as I'll demonstrate, I'll just put it in the 128 uh, speed gear. So it's 128 out of 1,024, it's about eighth of the normal speed. Um, yeah, I'll show you what happens. We'll go forward now. And look at that. The car goes forward. The car goes backwards. And now just increase the speed. We'll add 
256, so that's about triple the speed. And off we go. You can hear it's straining more, I mean it is a high gearing ratio, a faster speed. But yeah, it definitely uh, does work quite well. Go forwards, backwards, you can steer, keep going like this until you turn around. There we go, and backwards, and forwards. So now I'll just demonstrate the uh, 512 gearing option. So it's 512 out of 1024, which is about a 1 to 2 gearing ratio from the gearbox to the wheels. Um, okay, let's see how that goes. Oh, very good, look at that. It's actually uh, a very good gear. Don't ask me to drive. If you'd like to know more about the mathematics behind this gearing ratio, how it's calculated to give the overall gearing output, uh, you should really watch my other video, the 1000 speed gearbox, that goes into detail of the mathematics of uh, the combinations that these differentials create to create overall output. Alright, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to support this channel please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.